A replay of uh, the final moments uh, of the descent of the Soyuz TMA-14 shot uh, by the search and recovery teams uh, from one of the lead helicopters uh, at the landing site. You should be able to see just an instant before touchdown of the puff of smoke from the braking rockets, the soft landing engines uh, that uh, help uh, to slow the, the Soyuz down. You can see from its lateral movement uh, that the Soyuz incur incurred some wind uh, which is typical uh, for this time of year on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Again, a replay of the landing of the Soyuz TMA-14 spacecraft that occurred at 11.32 p.m. Central Time, 10.32 a.m. Kazakhstan time on Sunday morning. And at this point, uh, the Soyuz uh, would have landed. Uh, it was just out of the field of view. Uh, the porthole windows on those Russian Mi-8 helicopters are very narrow. And there you see the helicopter, that first, the very first helicopter landing just seconds after the touchdown of the Soyuz. Uh, the wind uh, carried the Soyuz off uh, as it rolled onto its side, which is very typical. These are technicians from RSC Energia, the initial uh, team uh, that lands uh, right after the touchdown of the capsule. Essentially, they're rolling the capsule now to the correct orientation uh, for the opening of the hatch to begin the extraction of the crew. A Russian Orthodox priest uh, at the landing site. Uh, this is uh, part of the uh, Russian tradition uh, to greet uh, the crew as they uh, are extracted from the Soyuz spacecraft. Again, uh, Gennady Padalka finishing an apple and some tea in the chilly temperatures of a Sunday morning on the steppe of Kazakhstan. And you can see Guy Laliberté with his uh, signature red clown nose seated uh, in his reclining chair at the landing site, having been extracted all the crew members now out of the Soyuz vehicle. And there's a Canadian spaceflight participant, Guy Laliberté, uh, being attended to by uh, flight surgeon uh, Richard Jennings. Commentator break, we have... Can hear what you're saying. And uh, at the landing site, uh, NASA Public Affairs Officer Josh Byerly, who has uh, landed in one of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters. Uh, Josh, uh, give us a look at uh, what's happening at the landing site. 
Rob, as you can see, they uh, they just pulled out the Libra's hand out of the castle just a couple of minutes ago. Gennady Padaka uh, was pulled out first, and then Mike Barrett. Uh, the crew seems to be doing very well. We talked to Ed Powers, the flight surgeon for uh, Mike Barrett. He says that uh, Mike is in uh, very good shape. Uh, so are the other two crew members, and uh, as you can probably tell uh, by the video that you're seeing, it's uh, quite a windy day out here in Kazakhstan. It's also quite chilly, so the crew is getting a, uh, a very cold and brisk welcome back to Earth as they uh, land this morning here in Kazakhstan. Josh, it appeared as if uh, the crew landed uh, very close uh, to the uh, targeted point uh, and that uh, they were extracted uh, fairly quickly. How did the operation look to you? Good. You know, we were in one of the first helicopters uh, that actually landed um, the uh, ATV, which are the all-terrain vehicles that come out here ahead of time. They were already here when we landed, uh, but we landed ahead of the rest of the half the delegation. Uh, the first crew members had already been pulled out uh, by the time we got here. So uh, the operations here were progressing uh, pretty much on schedule, and uh, everything here looking very, very smooth. Uh, we were... Uh Trained uh, in on Gennady Padalka, we saw uh, Mike Barrett, of course, uh, carried in his reclining chair. Did he uh, have anything to say that uh, was within earshot of you? Uh, all, actually, all three crew members are, uh, are talking with one another right now. They're also talking with their flight doctors as well. But uh, right after we got here, the rest of the NASA delegation, including Jolden Montalbano, who is uh, the person that runs our operations here uh, in Russia, as well as Kirk Shireman, the deputy uh, station program manager, as well as uh, Sonny Williams, herself an astronaut, all gathered up there. Uh, welcoming Mike very back. Uh, Mike, of course, saying it's very good to get back. Uh, I think that he's going to be talking with his wife very shortly. She's in Moscow, so he'll be able to uh, reach out and talk to his family here in a few minutes. So we'll see if, uh, if we can uh, lean in on that. Josh Byerly, uh, NASA Public Affairs Officer. Um supervising uh, all of our activities uh, at the landing site. Um, along with him, Bill Ingalls, NASA still photographer from NASA headquarters in Washington. Uh, the crew uh, will probably uh, remain uh, in their reclining chairs uh, there at the uh, side of the capsule for a few more minutes uh, before they are carried into the uh, medical tent uh, to uh, have their uh, Sokol launch and entry suits removed. Uh, it will be about an hour and a half or so uh, from uh, the time of touchdown till the time uh, that they are back in uh, respective helicopters uh, to go wheels up uh, for an hour and 45 minute ride in the helicopters to Kustanai, uh, Kazakhstan. Yeah, And now the crew members are being carried uh, uh, by the search and recovery forces to the medical tent. You can see uh, a good view of how desolate uh, the area is and now a good view of the Soyuz TMA-14 capsule. Uh, you've got a quick glimpse of Kirk Shireman, the uh, deputy program manager for the International Space Station program. And that is, again, uh, Guy La Liberté uh, being brought uh, to the medical tent uh, along uh, with Padalka and Mike Barrett uh, so that they can be attended to. Uh, you can see the orange tent uh, there an inflatable tent uh, that is uh, the first uh, piece of equipment that is set up uh, by uh, the technicians who, who arrive in the very first helicopter at the landing site. And uh, the chute, uh, the main parachute uh, being gathered up by technicians from RSC Energia. A good panoramic view uh, of the all-terrain vehicles and uh, three of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, that landed a short time ago uh, to begin uh, the extraction of the crew 
uh, those all-terrain vehicles will pull up to the side of the medical tent uh, about uh, 30, 35 minutes from now uh, to uh, accept uh, the three crew members and provide them a short ride to their respective helicopters for the flight to Kustanai, Kazakhstan.